Hello friends, welcome to this channel. So, in previous session, we saw how to install Terraform in our Windows system, right? Now, in this session, we are going to do our first step in the Terraform. Okay, so let's start with spinning up an instance on AWS. To do this, you also need an AWS account. So, the first step will be to open an AWS account. You're gonna open one for free and Amazon also has a free tier. So some of the uses, especially when you use the small instances, will be for free. So you can actually run a T2 micro, which is an instance type for one full month for free within the first year, right? So then once you open your account, you then can create an IAM admin user this is the user that we then are using to use in terraform then we are going to create a terraform file to spin up a t2 micro instance so if you open a new account and you are always going to shut down your instance after you use it you should not be paying for it right so once this terraform file is created we are going to use terraform apply the command which is then going to send the instruction to AWS to launch T2 micro instance. So now let's start with opening an AWS account. So here is my AWS account and you can see the AWS management console. So if you don't have an AWS account, then don't worry. I have already made a video on how to create AWS account for free. You will find this video in the i button above. So once you created your AWS account, you will see a screen like this, right? First thing we will do is to create a new user. So if you type in searches like IAM, manage access to AWS resources, then add the identity and access management page, we can create a new user. So if you click on users and then add user here, you can create a, like, let's say Terraform user. Now this Terraform user is not going to access the AWS management console. It's only going to access it using the API. So the access type is going to be like programmatic access and this enables an access key ID and secret access key, which we will then have to configure within Terraform. Okay. Next, we can add the user to group. So you can create a group. If you don't have an administrative group yet, the group name can be administrators. So, or I'm going to call it as, let's say Terraform administrators. And then gonna give it administrator access, which is full access to all AWS resources, right? Then you are gonna click on next. You don't need to give it any tags. So we are going to review it now. So everything looks good. And now we can create the user. Now that the user is created, we have an access key ID and a secret access key so we're going to click on this show and which will show you the secret access key and this one you will able to configure in the next now let's have a look at ec2 so in search bar let's look for ec2 here it is so then this is the ec2 dashboard as you can see so once you start doing the demos you will find your ec2 instances here if you launch so you just have to make sure that you are in the correct current region so my lab will launch in you can see us east virginia us east one so if you are going to launch in a different region you have to make sure that you change the terraform file before you do a terraform apply and that you also pick the correct region here so a lot of 
a lot of the first lab we will use default security group so have a look at your security group so here and then you will see you have a default security group here because i have an vpc and it will be the default vpc so if you also have a new account you will only have one security group you just want to make sure that you enable your inbound rules so for example in this one that there is an inbound rule for your ip addresses so if you go to inbound rules here edit inbound rules then here you can add a rule to allow all the traffic to my ip addresses so and when choosing my ip addresses you will allow all the access to your IP address. So you might have to repeat this if you have a dynamic IP address. In the first demo, we are not using security group yet. So the demos will use the default security group. Once we will start taking about VPCs, then we will also use security groups and then you can define everything in Terraform. So guys, that's it for this session. That's it for this account setup in the next session we will try to launch our first ec2 instance so stay tuned for that and if you have any doubt or any question feel free to ask in the comment section below i will answer you as soon as i can so thank you for watching bye and have a nice day